Hi there. Today I want to talk about how we heal from trauma. This is something really important to share with people because a lot of people who've experienced trauma are afraid that they're going to have to talk about the traumatic experience in order to heal. And quite frankly, when we have had horrible experiences, the last thing we want to do is talk about them, rehash them, because it's painful. And so I want to dispel uh, the misconceptions that there can be about that and actually talk about how we heal from trauma. I'm also going to be teaching a teleclass about this in the coming weeks. So if you think you might be interested, check out the information below this video so you can uh, be in touch, sign up if it's still happening or you know if, it's, if another one is coming up in the future. My name is Morella DeVoe. I'm a mental health counselor, a clinical hypnotherapist, and also a master NLP practitioner, among other things. And I work with a lot of people who've experienced sexual trauma. And I'm a survivor myself. So how do we heal from sexual trauma, from trauma in general? The first thing to know is that to heal from trauma, we do not have to rehash what happened. It actually oftentimes isn't helpful at all. It actually does the opposite. If we, you know, start talking about what happened, it can be re-traumatizing because very intense experiences can come up and our body can go into all of the physiological reaction that happened during the event. And so, yeah, we don't want to talk about it, nor should we talk about it. And that isn't necessarily what leads to healing. So there are proven techniques from neuro-linguistic programming, from somatic experiencing, from EMD EMDR that actually are far more effective at helping us heal from traumatic experiences that don't involve going into the nitty gritty details, but actually helping us kind of uh, reset our nervous system, pick ourselves up from the traumatic experience. A lot of times, this is a really simple metaphor that I use when I'm talking about trauma with clients. Um, when, when we've had a traumatic experience, this is a very simplistic metaphor, but it's like we were walking down the street of our life, right? We're walking and minding our own business and someone, another person, either intentionally or unintentionally puts their foot out, right? And trips us sometimes intentionally, right? And we fall hard on the ground, right? And we're on the ground and it hurts, right? The experience of trauma puts us sometimes in a place of feeling like we're in pain on the ground and can't believe that someone did this to us, right? So healing doesn't involve saying, oh my God, let me tell you about how I was walking down the street and somebody put their foot out and tripped me and I fell hard, right? And I'm here on the floor and I'm in pain. This doesn't do anything to help us pick ourselves up. Telling the story of how we fell on the ground is not what's necessary to pick ourselves up, right? So this is a little bit of an illustration that I use to share with people. It's like, it's not about telling of the story, it's about how we pick ourselves up. So let me tell you about some techniques that are involved. The first set of te techniques or you know strategies is what I call, and we call this in NLP, the building of resources. The building of the inner strength, of the resiliency, of the hope, of uh, the positive expectation, of the sense of power, and really importantly, building a sense of safety within yourself and in your environment, in your surroundings. Whether through bonds with people, it can be with a therapist, it can be with a group, it can be, you know, when you have a partner that's maybe supportive in your healing, helping you create the the bonds, the experience of safety around yourself, and importantly, helping you create for your nervous system, the knowledge, the experience that you're safe. What does it feel like to feel safe? And once you start to feel that you have those resources, that you have the strength, that you're feeling safe, that you're feeling supported, right? When you have that kind of like holding space, then you start to feel like, oh, maybe I can do this, right? It's like, you know, the person who's on the ground feeling like, oh, okay, maybe there's someone who's lending a hand who's helping me stand up. Maybe I do have the strength to pick myself up from the floor, right? So building resources first. Then there's also techniques that have to do with 
when it's when we're gonna say okay what's the what's the trauma that we're working on what's the experience that we're trying to heal you know it's a little bit like visiting the story but not re-experiencing the story right so there are techniques that are called distancing techniques in nlp right we create distance from the story it's like you're gonna say back there two three blocks ago or ten blocks back somebody tripped me it was terrible it was back then right so we're not going, we're not telling the story in a place of re-experiencing the story, but we create strategies and EMDR does this really well, kind of distracting the body um, and the mind in different ways. EFT does this as well, really well. Um, in NLP, we create distancing through really creative techniques, right? Putting yourself in the position of the observer, of the witness, right? It's like, let me, that, that thing back there that happened, right? It's not the thing that I'm experiencing right now, it's back there, right? So we create distancing. And another way in which I could do this um, in my group settings is that we do a really contained writing exercise, right? It's like back there, 10 blocks ago, there was this, this event that happened, right? I don't have to tell you the details. I don't have to tell you like all the nitty gritty of like what happened, right? But it, it's a thing, right? Just almost like a headline. And so that's all, that's, that's all that's necessary sometimes, right? It's like, yeah, that's the thing that I'm working on, the one that was back there. So developing resources, distancing are the first few things that we make sure that we are um, putting in place, right? And then there are a lot of somatic techniques, also NLP techniques, EFT, um, where we help <clears throat> create for you, create for the person who's at trauma, the ability, build the ability to stay in the here and now. That we are not kind of falling back into the traumatic experience. We're staying in the here and now and basically saying, okay, I'm picking myself up now. How do I do that, right? How do I help myself stay in, in the new phase of my story? There's a chapter back there that was painful and I'm, I'm working on, on healing myself from that chapter, but now I'm in a new chapter. And I'm going to write this new chapter. I'm going to tap into all of the resources I have and pick myself up, right? So this is just to give you a sense for what happens when you start working on trauma with a trauma qualified practitioner that you don't kind of jump into like, you know, the rehashing. In fact, a lot of times when people are talking to peers and, you know, th there's, there's a phrase, say trauma dumping, right? It's like the rehashing. Let me tell you all the details. And that can be traumatizing for other people. I have had clients who have had their partners share with them the details of their sexual trauma. And that's not helpful for anyone, right? It's because it's traumatizing for the person who's hearing it as well. So I wanted to share that with you um, so that if you have had an experience that is deeply troubling and painful, just so that you know that to help yourself heal, you won't have to go into the depths of what was so painful back then, right? That there are so many ways to help you. And I would love for you to join me if this is something that you know you're needing uh, help with. I'm teaching a free teleclass where we're going to talk more about how do you heal from trauma, and particularly sexual trauma, right? I'm going to be talking about the six major blocks to healing from sexual trauma. We're going to talk a little bit more of, of, uh, about do you really need to rehash it? right to to heal you know what are some of the top therapeutic techniques so we'll talk a little bit more about some of the things that i share and and we'll start exploring how do you rid yourself of the nasty feelings of having had such a terrible thing happen to you so i would love to hear what you think send me questions i have a survey on my website for survivors of sexual trauma for you to share with me what you're needing help with at this time it's at the bottom of the teleclass page so you can find it there if you if you would like to share with me more i can't wait to hear from you and support you on your journey if you need to me if you need me to take care